Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft mining tutorial for version 1.19. In this tutorial we are going to be covering tags. Now if you aren't aware of what tags are, um, which you might not be, it's completely fair to not be, um, tags are essentially, um, they're essentially a way to define particular behavior about something. So say you wanted um, a selection of blocks which could do something um, and you wasn't sure how to define those blocks. So you wasn't sure whether to hard code them, like have a list in the code or if you wanted to somehow have it be um, adjustable by the player. And tags are essentially that second option. So they avoid the hard coding and they allow players to be able to change your tags with data packs. And that is a really good modding um, thing, or just a really good thing about the game is that they have gone that way to allow their users to modify things which they might want to change. So, Let's go ahead and let's let's talk about what we're going to be adding a tag for. So the reason we're going to be adding a tag is if you remember in our tools tutorial, we had to put null here for this tag. And that's not great. Okay, that's not really very good. So we actually need to put a well, we don't need to put a tag in here. You can leave it as null. It's just not really a good idea. So we need to go ahead and put a tag in here. But obviously, you can use tags for whatever you want. Uh, in future tutorials, we'll probably be using tags for other things. Um, so this is just a tutorial to get you started with how it works. So, yeah, I mean, let's just get started. So we're obviously going to be creating a block tag for this. So let's actually come into our block init class and we're going to create a subclass. So we're going to say public static class tags. And we'll call it. Yeah, we'll just call it tags. And in here, all we're going to want, this is very, very simple. So we're going to want a public static final and this is tag. Um, make sure you get the right tag. So it's the one from. Uh, <laughs> I think it's this one, com.mojang. And this is generic. So this takes in the type. The type we're going to be using is block. And I'm going to call this um, needs underscore. Um, example underscore tool is equal and then this is equal to block tags dot create and this takes in a resource location so we're going to want a new resource location of mineable forward slash needs underscore example underscore tool and is that the correct thing here no, it's not. So it's not tag, it's tag key. And we just need to import that. There we go. Get rid of tag. That wasn't the right thing. And that's pretty much it. You now have a tag. And to do it for items, I'll just quickly show you in this class, just to give an example. So you would do tag key type item. Um, item tag is what I'll call it is equal and it's really as simple as this item tags dot create your resource location ah that is actually something I forgot so here we need to put our mod ID in here as the first parameter and it would just be the same here so tutorial mod dot mod ID and then you know wherever you want it to be so no, item tag. Boom. You now have an item tag. You now have a block tag. You can do also do the same for, I believe, um, 
entities and fluids. I think those are the other two options, but we just want our block tag for now. So one thing we are going to do, we're just going to simplify this a little bit. We'll create a method here. So a private static um, tag key of type block. And we're just going to say create. And this will just take in the location. So string location. And this will just return block tags dot create we'll first put in well, in these are resource location first but then our mod id and then just location that way all we need to do here is instead of saying block tags dot create blah 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 we can just say create and then this string there boom that is a lot simpler Another thing you might want to do is create one for forge. So instead of saying your mod ID, you might want to instead put forge and say create forge. That is if you wanted to create a tag in the forge directory, or you can always create one in the Minecraft directory as well. So create Minecraft and then in that case you can just remove the mod id parameter but um, we're actually not going to need those two at least not for now uh, maybe in the future we will come back and recreate them so okay yeah that's that's fine so yeah now we can just go back into our block class and no into our item in it i mean and then we can say um, block in it dot tags dot needs example tool and now what you can do is you can put something like um, if we come back into our block in it if you remember in our block tutorial or our block drops tutorial we set these two to be in a respected tag so let's just have a look what we did where Minecraft tags you see here we have the needs iron and stone tools what you need to do if you want yours to work is come into data and then your mod ID and just create a new directory tags forward slash blocks and in here you can just create your own so you can say whatever you named your tag so we named ours needs underscore example underscore tool dot json of course and then you can just put the stuff in here so i believe the first value is replace we'll put false and then you can say the values and then your array so you know say for example you want um i don't know um tutorial mod colon example underscore example two underscore block so you want that to be in requires example tool and then we can just remove this needs iron tool if we wanted to uh, i'm actually going to remove the stone tool and put the normal example block in there and yet yeah, you now have a tag so that just gets rid of your error pretty much um yeah, that's it. I mean, we don't have anything to test in this tutorial because it's not really going to make a difference. So, yeah, I hope you guys did find this tutorial useful. If you did, please do be sure to punch that like button and subscribe. If you really enjoyed, please do be sure to share it. And, yeah, we'll be doing recipes next. So, I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.